And off we go. Um, why don't we go ahead and just, you know, obviously this is not the um, meeting with the agenda. So it's just things that people would like to bring forward. I have one item that I want to bring forward. I know Georg, you have one that I think is coming out of DNI. So maybe we'll just start there. Hmm. Okay. The, um, so the diversity and inclusion group, we've been looking at the metrics repository, which we know is going away to make sure we have all of the metrics that are there right now represented in our current work. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that became very clear is that we're focused very much on individuals and not so much on organizations. And so organizational diversity is something <clears throat> that I have for sure heard a lot throughout our existence and it's currently captured, but it's, it's a little different focus from what we are doing. And so we have a little bit of concern of uh, scope creep in our work and where it fits within the overall chaos framework. So I think the, the early discussions of diversity and inclusion were 100% around organizational diversity. And it's only, it was only after some time that we, you know, evolved to where we are. So with that in mind, I don't think we want to lose that archive. I sus is my, ex my expectation would be that we would not delete the contents of the metrics repository, but that we would archive it in some way so that if we wanted to re regather the thoughts that we once had that they would exist there or is that not well, the intention i think the broader question in in this case in the case of what um garrick's talking about is where does the organizational affiliation belong within the project because it's clearly a metric that's important to organ to the health of an open source project but as we've sort of defined diversity and inclusion it's more about you know, underrepresented populations and things that people typically think of when they think of diversity and inclusion. You don't typically think of um, organizations as, as part of that. So um, I think my, my take on it was that it definitely belongs somewhere because it is super important. So projects with only one company contributing are probably not going to be as healthy as projects with multiple people contributing, for example. But I sort of think maybe that that actually fits more in the GMD working group than in the diversity and inclusion working group. I, I kind of tend to agree with you based on the conversations that have occurred over the last six months, especially that, that you know, do I have enough companies contributing is a question mm -hmm. that community managers face frequently, it seems. Yeah. So. But, but from a fundamental perspective, isn't this a, me a measurement of diversity because it, it, some projects you, you never are going to have more than one company because they it might just be a throw it over the wall open source right so right. that in that sense the organizational diversity has no effect whatsoever on growth maturity or decline right um well, I mean, you know, that's, that's true. There are organizational choices that, that say we're going to make it open source, but you know, like Twitter bootstrap is a great example of a web framework that was very, very much closed and contained. You know, you could try to do a pull request to it, but it was unlikely to be accepted if you weren't in that core group and they all worked at Twitter. So that kind of management that sort of non distributed highly centralized leadership style exists in open source and you're right for those projects diversity or organizational diversity would be meaningless um well it, it's not it's not meaningless because it is it does still have meaning in that yeah, i see what you're saying that only one company contributes to it means something right so yeah. and in fact like the company i work for we release a lot of stuff for we don't intend for any developers to ever give us contributions to it it's just an open source library for that for developers to adapt certain things that we've built for whatever platform they're using it on. Right. right. And I suppose so, the balancing is that that's what the, that's the context that you put around it, whether that's good or bad or nothing, it's just a thing. That's, that's for the community manager to decide. Right. 
So um, I was going to say from, from the individual point of view, the fact that maybe I'm discriminated because of the company I belong to is relevant for, for the individual. Because maybe I'm joining a community hosted by a single company and I'm a volunteer or, or I come from a different company. Uh, and because of that, I'm discriminated somehow. So from that point of view, I think that could fit in, in diversity and inclusion. But my impression is that every working group should decide on what they want to, to deal with. Because motivation is very important from the point of view of chaos, I mean. And if for any reason the diversity and inclusion group prefers to focus on whatever the dimensions of diversity and inclusion, I think that's fine. Maybe we can work later on the others, mainly if, if some of the people join for whom that's important. And I would say that for DMD, the thing is the same. We are focusing in some of the metrics that we find more convenient, but, but that's because they matter to us more, or we think for some reason that they are more important, but nothing else, in fact. So. Yeah, this conversation is making me wonder whether there's sort of a core set of metrics that kind of overlap or that doesn't belong specifically in any in any one of the working groups but that are important to um, you know open source communities and open source projects health so organizational right. affiliation seems like it might be one of those mm -hmm. I agree I think so I think there's two questions one is where does it belong mm -hmm. and two is how do we make sure that when we archive the metrics repository we don't leave we don't lose these I think useful thoughts that we have had in the earlier stages of the project, but not just mm -hmm. maybe not developed yet. I, I know this is a concern that I have in both maturity and decline because so many metrics have been moved into like not been moved yet. So when we when we archive the metrics repository, I don't want to lose all of the metric conceptualizations that have happened but haven't developed fully yet. Uh, uh, so my, my idea of how to deprecate um, the metrics repository was just by saying in the readme, this is deprecated. So that everything in the repository would remain there. Okay. Uh, so that's that, that's my idea because I realize now that we have never discussed. It, so that's what my, my own assumption. That makes, so, okay. uh, makes sense. So because I, I I think there is a lot of history in the repository yeah. and, and data which is uh, interesting. So I wouldn't delete yeah. it. And by the way, my brief puzzled look had nothing to do with what you were saying. It was like a hammer started going in the office next door. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry that 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 timing was bad. One of the <laughs> One of the thoughts I have had on this is that um, organization affili affiliation carries itself with the people engaged in the project. And so right now with the diversity and inclusion work group, the way we have structured our metrics is that we can have the metrics and then for every person, there are multiple dimensions of demographics as we call them. So age, race, origin, and so on. And one way of doing organizational diversity is to have the organization affiliation be one of those dimensions. And then we can just run the same kind of metrics and just choose that dimension as our lens. I think that's a nice approach. Yeah, but organizational affiliation becomes um, a lot more, a lot more complicated because it changes a lot more frequently than any of the other, other things that we have. You know, you look at people who jump from from job to job to job. So it's not just it's not just an individual um, demographic. It's an individual demographic that changes frequently over time. So it doesn't necessarily this. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't see it fitting in the diversity I, and inclusion stuff, but it is so critically important that it has to be somewhere. I, I agree. So, I mean, I can, yeah. I, I really yeah. see what you're saying, Don, about how it feels out of band mm -hmm. with the current um, kind of direction of the DNI work group. <laughs> it just does. To me, it, it feels a little yeah. out of band with the work that you're doing, with the way that the work group is currently feeling. Yeah. I mean, so, if, I mean, I mean, if it just needs a home, right? I mean, it you know, I don't home. think there's any issue with just moving to a GMD like repo as an example, right? As I mean, I think the important thing is not lose that. And, you know, I think you can make a case for it. either way. I don't have a strong opinion as long as it's not deleted completely, right? It just needs a home. And um, yeah, I mean, that's just my two cents. But, I mean, but, uh, I, I don't, uh, um, sorry, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, I mean, both Sean and Jesus, 
I know that the GMD work group is not the same as the software that both of you guys are working on as well. Right, it's true. Um, but, I mean, the reality is, is that both of you are very much in this space, whether it's with Augur or with Grimoire Lab, I think both of you can kind of speak to how you capture organizational diversity or affiliation. So from the, from the tooling point of view, that's not uh, different from any other kind of characteristics of a person. Because in the end, what you do is to level persons with different tags and then try to aggregate that tag. And the tag can be gender or can be age or can be nationality or can be company. So from the point of view of the tools, it's exactly the same thing. Um, on the other hand, talking about where to put the, the metrics, um, let me say this in a way that doesn't, I, I mean, I don't want to be rude, but to some extent, GMD is starting to be like the trash can where we are putting every metric that we don't know how where to put. Yeah, I and, agree. Uh, it, it, and uh, uh, I think that we are starting to have the same trouble that uh, diversity and inclusion there. So I don't mind having that in GMD. But for now, we are struggling to have some of the focus areas work it. So I don't think that we can really work in this for a, little, for a while. So I don't mind if we have a new focus area, which is something like organizational diversity. If we are all uh, now, that what we are going to do with it for now is to park it. A step that somebody wants to come and lead that one. If somebody comes and leads, that's perfect, that's great. And we can coordinate with the DNI group because I'm sure that there are many different, many, sim many similar things, even when both are different. I mean, but I, if nobody I, can lead, I think that we need to park it for a while. I'm, I'm as comfortable as Jesus is with moving it into GMD if, if it needs a parking lot for now. I think one thing we might want to consider is how do we take the input of what when when others who are going to consume the metrics are approaching our metrics database how do they decide where to look first or which which corner of chaos to look in first and for whatever reason the open source community when we talked about maturity when we talked about diversity at first organizational diversity was what got talked about a lot mm -hmm. and it, it wasn't until we evolved to consider this broader definition of diversity in the North American culture in particular, that, that we got to what diversity and inclusion is now. So if, if, that's, if it's the case that people who are going to consume the metrics are in all likelihood going to look first in diversity and inclusion for organizational diversity, at some point it might make sense to have it there, even if that's not the central focus of the working group. Um, um. What I actually, what I actually think is that I think that, um, so I totally agree with what you and Jesus are saying about it, or Jesus, I guess, about it being sort of a dumping ground right now for things we yeah. don't know what to do with. Right. I actually think that this is a, this is a separate problem that I think we're just realizing is a problem, is that we probably have a set of what I'll just call core metrics for right now, things mm -hmm. like organizational affiliation. There's probably, there's probably several of them that have been sort of pulled into GMD that okay. don't directly impact growth, maturity, and decline. And I wonder if we need kind of a maybe, a, maybe another group looking at core metrics, or maybe we define a set of core metrics as, a, as part of this group. I, I don't know. I just wonder if there are, I, I'm just willing to bet that there are others that fall into the same category that we don't want to just keep shoving everything into GMD because it doesn't fit anywhere else. Maybe there's a set of core stuff that we need to address separately. Um, um, before, we, before we get into the deep end on this, um, so the, the organizational diversity stuff was um, something that's been particularly important to me over the last few years. And in fact, I think I was the one that originally created all of those metrics. Um, so to provide a little twist on what Jesus and Sean said, um, I would actually be willing to take over leadership of finding a home for that, but I would prefer it be within, within specifically diversity, I think. Um, so just as a part of diversity inclusion, I think it um, is where it should be. And, and I'd be willing to take over the effort of putting it there. Nobody's concerned about the effort of putting it there. The concern is that it doesn't, it doesn't align with the rest of the work that we're doing. It's a okay. very different metric. Um, yeah. So, so okay. the concern is not, not a bandwidth one. It's a, where does this really belong within the project in a way that people can find the things that they need to find. 
in gotcha. a way that sort of logically makes sense. That's so, my so, that's my concern with it. Yeah. So, it, are there any other metrics that we think fit within this category? Which category you mean? Organizational diversity? Um, or? Just, just no. having having something that is like a core set of metrics that don't really fit within either one. Um, with this respect, um, I was working with the Mozilla people, and I started to have similar feeling with some metrics we were discussing there and it was kind of the so the question was can we measure the value of working in the open and then we had a bunch of metrics and, and, and questions there and the point is that I thought well this is a really interesting question for chaos and we may try to have something there but the only way I, I thought about this was oh maybe do I need another working group or how should I proceed for having a lot of these discussions there? So I have the same feeling. And for some other metrics, I don't really know where to place those. So perhaps another way of, of, of working would be kind of, uh, I don't know if a working group, but something like uh, metrics of interest or analysis of interest, and then we can have use cases. So we go the other way around. So instead of having a working group interested in diversity and inclusion, and then we have a list of metrics, let's say question focus areas and so on, we go the other way around, which is, hey, we have, we think that uh, organizational diversity is, is, is a key metric to measure things in open source projects. Uh, and then we have use cases from people from, from diversity and inclusion, for GMD, from, um, from some other people that simply want to analyze that metric for other reasons. But just an idea. So from the point of view of the working groups, I think that if there is some people willing to work together in any kind of metrics, we can discuss whether that fits in one of the current working groups or we can set up a new one. So I think we are not short of working groups on the other, or on the contrary, what do we need these people engaged with analyzing some, uh, let's say focus areas or wherever. So I think uh, having more working groups is not a problem at this point. Or maybe the, 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 the kind of things that we are talking about, I mean, organizational diversity and value for the community, maybe they can have a home in one of the current working groups, maybe GMD, maybe diversity and inclusion. So from my point of view, the problem is having people engaged with that. They share down uh, concerns about maybe this is not um, fitting in this specific working group. In that case, let's look whether it fits in some other, or we can have a new working group for that at least for a while and, and, and see how it works. Because in the end, what we need is to people working on defining metrics. And honestly, I, I, I really, I think it doesn't matter whether they work in one working group or another, as far as that they are happy working together and they can produce uh, the relevant metrics. So um, uh, just for, for coming with a proposal after, after all of this. <laughs> If, uh, if organizational diversity is important, and I think that we all agree with that, and Ben and maybe somebody else want to lead this, uh, we can try having that in GMD if they agree and diversity and inclusion think um, they don't fit it in it. If it doesn't work, we can even open a new working group with that. From my point of view, that could be feasible. What do you think? Yeah, this is kind of sounding like, you know how in GMD <clears throat> right now, I mean, there's not much talk, but there's uh, value and risk sitting there. And remember this came up earlier that if those actually start to gain enough traction to warrant a working group, great. Then we break that out and they form their own working group. And value. A, on the topic of on value and risk, I have a few comments from the compliance workshop that I was at the compliance summit I was at last week as well. Sure, I guess my one concern with working, with forming working groups is just bandwidth. I mean, right now we have three meetings a week. We have DNI meeting, we have a GMD meeting, and we have this meeting. And so another working group is just another, it's just a, a more time, that's all. And I right. really so, want to see the, I, I think really the a cool focus for 2019 is really starting to see the work of these working groups in in the world, see it in practice. And I mean, you, you know who's on these calls. <laughs> so there, there's a certain number of people. And I, I guess just my concern is, is another working group is, is 
Matt, I agree with you, but at the same time, if something motivates people, usually people can work better on that. So I that's totally what was my, my, my assumption was, if somebody wants to lead this and work in this, uh, maybe as a, as a middle ground for now, we could offer to, to talk about this into the GMD working group, see what see how it works. At least and maybe a couple of months, maybe in Chaoscom, we can discuss with diversity and inclusion and see whether it fits or not or whether they deserve a new working group or they are happy in the GMD working group. That sounds like so, a good path forward. Yeah, the other then thing I would think about the for the, for, the other thing I would think about for the GMD group is if, if we did create a focus on sort of the a core metrics, are there other metrics that you would want to move into there in addition to the organizational diversity? But I do think this is something we just need to think about a little bit more and maybe talk about in another couple of weeks. Um, so, so I, I would actually go with what Ben was saying with regards to uh, which work group it goes in because it has the name diversity in the title. I think if you're it's, just looking it's really, for it's really down, organizational affiliation though, I think more than it's, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like any of the, it doesn't feel like it fits within the goals that we have. It doesn't fit with all the other stuff that we, we do, it's very different. Yeah, but if you just look for a parking spot for it right now, I think of what, as an outsider, I would expect to find it in the DNI work group. And we don't have to work on it. We just can park it there. Well, there's, so there's this, what is the working group's identity and what is, what are the sort of librarian-ish labels that we place on things are two different questions. And well, from, from my point of view, the most important thing about working groups is that they want to work together right. on a certain issue. I agree. And I think that the working group should define what they are interested in, of course, coordinated with the rest of us, but it's very important that they believe in what they are doing and yeah. that that's really what they think they should be doing. Uh, I don't know that the general opinion of diversity and inclusion. So, uh, but but in case that the working group, um, let's say, the consensus or close to consensus, they think this doesn't fit there. I think by definition this doesn't fit there because the working group is that is the working group, and maybe we need to explain why this metric is another working group or something. But uh, I mean, we shouldn't break a dynamic of a group which is working right now, because. You know, you need to work in what you think you should be working on. So it doesn't make sense to do it in, in some other way. Yeah, and, I, think, uh, I think part of the problem is with, with the way it's named because it's really organizational affiliation, but it's called organizational diversity. Um, well, I, think, I think it's organizational diversity from the point of view that I said before. So if I'm joining a community with other companies, I as a person, I'm influenced by the fact that other people are in other companies. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, that I, doesn't I matter, I think. I, I agree that the problems are quite different from gender, for instance. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I, I, I agree. I, I, I think when you know, like I started this conversation on organizational affiliation, it was more on the diversity side of things rather than where people are affiliated with. Like, I mean, for projects, like we don't want a lot of projects to be single or two person, two company based projects, right? So it's I think diversity is a better term versus like identification. But I think that doesn't matter. So in the end, it's, it, the names are just names. So in, in fact, the working group may have a very specific idea about what diversity means, and that's fine. So the only thing is we need to make room for everybody willing to work. And uh, if this doesn't fit there, and the only reason can be because people working there doesn't think that it does fit there. So we don't need more reasons. Then the only thing is we need the place to fit it. And well, I, th I think that what you're saying is that uh, Georg and I, as two of the maintainers for the metrics repository or the yeah. DNI repository, um, don't necessarily agree on on <laughs> what it is. Um, I would like here's here's my suggestion. I would like to table this discussion until we finish the goals for the diversity and inclusion working group, which is something that we're we're working on over the next definitely in the next meeting and probably over the next few weeks. And I think that the GMD working group should talk about whether or not this fits there or whether we, whether we need a separate group or maybe even this group as a whole focused on what I would call core, um, kind of core metrics. So um, I would see organization 
I, I don't want people to think that I don't think this is important. I think it's critically important. I think it's probably mm -hmm. as important as most of the DNI stuff that we're doing. It is a metric, um, a specific metric that people ask about a lot. So I agree with it, you that maybe yeah, there's something that's. I mean, my whole cool. my whole PhD was based on uh, looking at <laughs> <laughs> yeah. looking yeah. at organizational affiliation, not the whole thing, but a big chunk of it. Presumably, that was a waste of time, right? So. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. Ben, what do you think of this? Uh, so, uh, sorry, I, I'm still I'm not clear. What we're are, we're thinking about tabling it until uh, um, just till we have the goals defined in DNI. Sorry, from both work groups. Okay. Oh, I I think that there, there is an agreement that these are important metrics. The only thing is whether we deal with them in the diversity and inclusion group, in the GMD group, or in a new working group. I think we agree on this uh, setup, okay. right? So uh, what uh, Don is proposing is let's wait for a couple of weeks, so maybe three weeks, I think until the goals of the diversity and inclusion uh, group are ready and they have some consensus. And based on that, probably it's easier to decide whether this fits in diversity and inclusion as it is now or not. Yeah, I, I would also add to that. It would be nice to have our um, pre standardization efforts um, at least like partially done uh, before we like try to plug organizational stuff into somewhere. Um, I don't think that's necessary, but it would be, just be nice to have. Yep. So that was on my list of things for today, Ben. Yeah, and I would say in the meantime, if Ben or anybody else wanted to work on the organizational metrics, there's something that we probably should be defining sooner rather than later. And I don't think necessarily that which group we put them in prevents us from starting, the wor starting that yeah. work. And that's what the README standardization would help me do. Yeah. Okay. Um, I did just make a, I jotted something down called membership. Mm -hmm. like a work group called membership or a focus area called membership that we could think about organizations as part of that membership just a, just a note for people I, I i do like your idea don of bringing it kind of back to the uh, work groups for the time being and think about goals and then bring it back so all right that was that generated a lot of discussion <laughs> That's cool. So with respect to the value metrics that Danny, you were mentioning, if you want to, to come to the working, to the GMD working group uh, to discuss them, I think they fit perfectly because we moved the value area to, to the GMD working group. So the only thing is we need people to push that forward, but nothing else. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. So it's something I, I want to bring to chaos in, in somehow. The only the only thing I'm afraid of is that, well, it's the discussion we, we are already having here, which is uh, if the specific metrics fit in the two groups we have right now, or if we are forcing that fitting into the existing groups. But so in, the case of value, in the case of value, up, at this, uh, how, up, up to how they are defined today, of course mm -hmm. they fit in the end, because yeah. by definition it is including that one. Okay, I need to leave now. So, thanks for this nice discussion. Okay, well, that's good. I, I'll, I have another thing that I want to bring up here. Okay, and what I say? Um, and that was to your point, Ben, about standardization. So, just the GMD work group is sort of started on uh, thanks to Armstrong for bringing together the pull request that we can start talking around with standardizing the readme. Um, I don't know how DNI is doing on that. I haven't looked. We have an action item for it, but nothing, no work has been surfaced. Okay. Um, and then on the deprecating the, the metrics repository, I, I, I think Right before this call, I put an issue in in the metrics repository. And I think Sean was echoing this, that there's a lot of really good work in the metrics repository that we don't want to lose. And at the same time, too, I think we do, just kind of thinking through it, we do still need a place to capture metrics that people bring forward. Because there, there always seems to be, like at any of the conferences or just in a on the list or whatever, somebody's like, there's a metric. just a single metric, it, it's completely, it just kind of lives out in the world by itself. It's not part of DNI, it's not part of GMD, but it's just a metric. 
And I do think we need a place to continue to capture those. So what I put in the, the issue is that um, with respect to deprecating the metrics repository, that on the chaos, the chaos website, we point with respect to metrics, we point directly to the focus areas of the two working groups. So that would simply point, point there on the website. And then in the metrics repository, we simply maintain the activity metrics.md file. That's it. So I don't know if you're familiar with the activity metrics. The activity metrics markdown file. It's just, it's just a two column table that basically just lists the name of metrics with a brief description of how we understand those metrics. That's it. Um, did those, the metrics also have links, didn't they? To like they did. So there's kind of a, underneath some of them, there's a further detail, which can be things like, this is how this metric is implemented in different tools, or here's a visualization of that metric, you know, like a screenshot of maybe one of the tools, or uh, here's some research that has talked about this metric. So you're correct, Ben. There is a link, and that link takes you to a page that has that more detail. Uh, well, I, it looks like some of them actually link to a separate markdown file within the repository, within the metrics repository, that provides like more details. Yeah, and that's one of the things that I don't want to lose are some of the metrics that have a ton of detail, uh, but haven't been fleshed out yet. Yeah, yeah, some of these actually have quite a bit of content. Mm -hmm. And they've been sort of some of them, some with a credit of content have been parked right now, which so, is fine. I just like Matt said, and I said earlier, I don't want to lose the work. So d d maybe, maybe then would it make sense for us to keep every single, keep details about every single metric that both working groups identify as important within the metrics repository. And then whenever they need to reference those metrics, um, they can just link to their existence within the metrics repository. Would that, would that make sense? We could do that. Um, do you want to keep that detail page below? So right, obviously there's the activity metrics markdown page, which is that two column thing, that huge table. Yeah. So I I really want to keep that for sure. Right. And be yeah, able so, so, so what, cause what I'm thinking is, is if we're, if we're all using the exact same list for the metrics definitions, then it makes it easier for us to work together on those because that, well, maybe, I don't know. Cause this does kind of touch on the having metrics that overlap both work groups as well, because. Yep. It does. And I, and this is also the place where we can capture people's kind of individual comments on new metrics. Yeah. This list, which I like, I like that idea because I like capturing what people say. So if we look at the repository, the readme, we have a structure of the metrics repository that we originally thought of where we have on the left, the metric category, which I would now replace with, this is a work group that develops the specific details and then on the right we have the all metrics list which would now be the metrics repository and then we have the activity metric detail page in the middle that is being linked to and so the proposal that I was hearing is the work groups have the possibility to take that and develop it within their work group and if it is a metric that we use across work groups, then we would just let it live in the metrics repository. Well, uh, I'm thinking, I, I think we, what we're thinking is we let all metrics exist in the metrics repository. So anytime they're referenced by either work group, they're pointing to it within the metrics repository. So then we run into the issue that the work groups advance the metric in their own repository and then have to um, merge it back into the metrics repository. Do, the, do both work groups have, so like in the activity metrics directory, we have, I don't know, 50 
or so markdown files. Do the working groups have those markdown files in their repositories? Not, not necessarily. That's no, that's not a guarantee. In some cases, some of them, yes, some of them, no. But the more I look at this, the more, the more I think we do have a set of core metrics that nobody is really looking at. No one's labeled them core, possibly because labeling them core. Yeah. All right, so, so forget, forget core, call them, whatever, call them whatever we want. But I think that there's a set of metrics that are common across. So I think the, the shield that we've used, so the banner that maybe we're starting to use accidentally for that, what you're calling core is the use the community manager use case, because I think what you're calling core are things, I mean, at least the case of what the organizational affiliations are, that's something that community managers are centrally concerned about in a lot of cases. Um, no, I think my, my point is that this big list of metrics, I don't, I don't really see any of the ones that we're working on Oh, and and are you actually working on all 50 of these because we're not working on any of them. I think there's a set of metrics that are super important to the project that no one's working on. I, I, don't, care, I don't care what we call them. But if we if we split everything out into these two working groups and we abandon the metrics repository and archive it, I think we're losing a set of things that that nobody's working on that are super important. Well, and they, and they, I would say that it's not that nobody's working on them. It's that they are so super important that they're kind of baked into much of the discussion and much of the prototyping already. Mm -hmm. And we probably need to advertise that mm -hmm. in some way. But my point is, I mean, are you taking on all 50 of these metrics in the, the GMD working group? They are I'm going to guess, I'm no. going to guess, no. no, no and so we need, right we need now. a, we need a place for these. I don't care. I don't care what we call it. Right. It just right. seems the, like I, I'm just, I'm just thinking that this whole conversation has identified a huge gap that we didn't really understand mm. the magnitude of. Yeah. So, go ahead, Ben. So can we maybe make our next goal going towards having a single list of all of the metrics that we've defined somewhere? so that we're all operating on the same information that is complete. Is there a way that we can do that? Because right now, it because if, if it's scattered amongst three different locations, we're probably gonna have some overlap um, and we have no idea how much overlap it's gonna be. So I think we really just need a common list where we can all see everything that's been defined, right? If it's just a list like this two column list here, that's pretty, I mean, that, I don't think that's hugely difficult to maintain. It's when we start getting into the implementate, that sub page, like the implementation stuff. So like if you clicked on open issues on this giant list, right? like maintaining that thing, that's really hard. Have, have both working groups adopt, adopted this format or are they using different formats for their like metric definitions? We're using a different format right now in the DNI group. And right now that that format GMD is working to follow that format in the DNI group. So it's, it's almost like the formatting is coming from the work groups themselves. So really in the order of events, right, was this metrics repository kind of was for just in the time, the timeline. And then the work group showed up and started doing the work in, in their, in their repositories. Um, and they may have referred to this metrics list to kind of orient themselves, but then I think they found the way that they worked best. So I think this metrics list that you're looking at was probably put together. Oh gosh, a long time ago, the structure of it was put together. It really when chaos first started and there weren't a lot of people doing the work that's occurring in the work groups right now. Right. So is this, is this format something that we can standardize between the two work groups or I'm not saying this format, but this, like, can, can we standardize a definition of a metric markdown page between the two work, work groups? I'm okay right. with that. I think if somebody tells me what the standard is, I'm going to just do it. But I think, uh, I think there are different issues with regards to the standard. 
Well, um, you can link those different issues though in different yeah. connecting pages. I mean, I think high level concepts are like, ought to be somewhat common. Like, I think the unifying standard that we have is that we have a name and a question for every metric like we have right now in this list. And then when it comes to the implementation, um, I think GMD is more code oriented, whereas diversity and inclusion is, doesn't have that right now. So we have different requirements. So I'm hearing what Ben's saying though, Ben, catch me if I'm wrong. You're saying when you go to these two repositories, you're not, the way that you read, the way that you're able to process the readings that are there they they look fundamentally different, and so it's not clear that this is the same project. Yeah, I mean that's that's a big part of it. Um, I think the biggest thing is if if I'm approaching this as a, a new user who has just learned about your project and is trying to figure out how everything operates, um, there's there's so much content, but I don't I can't make sense of how it all fits into one picture, right? right. Mm -hmm. We, uh, just, just to bring some more. I mean, it's a valid concern for a newcomer to this place. I agree. Yeah. What, what if we try to have um, specific use cases? And for use cases, perhaps each of the focus areas that we are having in the several working groups, because so far, so we are, we are kind of struggling with this right now in Vitoria, where we are trying to characterize and somehow, uh, the, the, let's say, the product lines. And for this, we need to define kind of main areas and then some specific questions. And then we, we try to go for some specific metrics answering all of this. And in some of the cases, we have the same metric for the several product lines, let's say. Um, so here, what this is, let's say a big amount of metrics with kind of chaotic metrics, all of, all of, all of this there, right? Um, but what if we try to have use cases? So for instance, I see that we have uh, new contributors, and then I open the new contributors thing and say, okay, the description is what is the number of new contributors, and then the use case, well, it's the generic sentence, like provide examples for this. Uh, but if, we, if I think about new contributors, it comes to my mind the idea of uh, the demographics, and then why it's important to understand the demographics. So let's say for a community manager point of view, it's about the retention, uh, or being welcoming for newcomers, while if we go for uh, for a company, perhaps uh, trying to understand how your competitors are participating, so you understand who are the newcomers coming from a specific company. So those are specific use cases for the same metric, which is newcomers or new contributors, or at least several layers of this. So perhaps ha going through the concept of use case, we can have, for instance, uh, the metric of new contributing organizations, new contributors. Um, there are a couple of extra more that I would say, well, this might be part of this use case. Um, if we think about the, the idea of the organ organizational diversity, it's kind of the same. So why are we interested in this? Because each of us have a specific use case. Um, so perhaps working at the level of, at the level of use cases, so we are kind of working at the level of focus areas, but without any meaning of working group, just use cases, and then we can go through them. So if you think, for instance, at the to-do group, they have a specific part in a guide about measuring what to track. And if you go there, uh, basically they are saying measuring your open source program success. And they are defining some metrics, like, well, goals and blah, 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 but if you go back they say well new contributors number of commits number of pull requests open and closed and this is the metrics that they are having in the use case can i ask you a question daniel yeah so would the from a use case perspective would it be hmm. say uh, like a dozen use cases whatever the number might be and then hmm. something like new contributor could fit into use case two three and seven yeah. Okay. So it's like having focus areas. So we have focus areas in DNI. I yeah. don't remember if you have focus areas in GMD. They are. They are okay. Right. Yeah. So and perhaps we are we are all using uh, I don't know number of contributions. Sure. So then, the, then the, as, the challenge, the not challenge, but I mean the 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 step would be to identify what those broad use cases might be. Is that correct? 
Yeah, and the real ones we have right now are those focus areas, at least in the two working groups. Okay. So the working groups, obviously, yeah, themselves are defining what those use cases might be, hmm. right? I'm hmm. guessing within the work groups, you kind of have some use cases. Um, but then this might also kind of lead to Don's point, which would be there are certain use cases that m might not be um, addressed in either of the work groups right now. Hmm. Uh, I'm just trying to get my head around what we do with the metrics repository. So then there's a lot of things, case, there's a lot of different parts that are moving here right now. <laughs> let me try to, let me, but let me try to, so from a metrics repository, Daniel, we have this list of activity metrics, right? Hmm. And so I, I really would like to keep this list of activity metrics because again, it's a way to capture what people are saying, irrespective of whether or not they fit with either of the two working groups right now. It's just a, a way to kind of capture the, the conversation. I really like that. Um, if you drilled into one of them, I'll just pick the top one, say bus factor. Mm -hmm. Are you suggesting that this page would then have a description and then the use cases where bus factor might fit? And that's it? Because that that might be easy enough to maintain. Part of my concern is I'm trying to balance being expressive with information so people can orient themselves without creating an exceptional amount of work that we just can't maintain. Right. And so I, I like providing information, but I also like maintaining that information <laughs> in a way that's useful for people. Mm -hmm. And they come to the site. Yeah, I admit I'm a little bit afraid of adding an additional level of complexity right now yeah. when we're struggling to maintain, we're, we're sort of struggling to figure out the complexity that we have already. Okay. Yeah. So would you... I think like talking about the readme files and the structure of the repository, you see like the pull request, I do not actually want to send that pull request because the structure that we were discussing yeah. It's something that I, it's not really clear what should go in because reading from what has been proposed online, there are lots of links. If you want this point, this point, that. So if we could set, first of all, if we could set a structure, just a skeleton mm -hmm. that we could agree on, then we could now fill that structure now with content. For the, read, for the readme files. Yeah, because yeah. that is the landing page for every repository. Don't when we have... it's not well structured and when, when it is well structured people coming in or like new contributors they actually know how to follow up things okay yeah so um, like what i was really suggesting like first time so i sent you an email because i do not want to do any kind of pull request at that early stage it was doing pull requests means you are contributing something or you are suggesting something yep but, but that was a kind of like what structure it was a kind of a question what structure do we you I, know, see. I was just yeah yeah okay so if we don't have that structure then we could now see how we, we fill in the gap start to filling them up and so on the pull request structure i think don you put in was it an issue or a pull request on a proposed structure for the readme oh uh, i i just i put in an issue but it was the proposed structure that ben had suggested and then i think okay. ben flushed it out Okay. It was the concept that Ben had suggested, and then Ben, ben fleshed it out with, I think you had, didn't you put a template in there, Ben? Uh, I think you did. Uh, I, I mean, I li we linked to the, the uh, repository structure that uh, I was hoping to use. Okay. Yeah, no, I think it's in the DNI. I don't know if it made it to growth, maturity, and decline. Let me take a look. So, so um, I, I know there are a lot of moving parts here, but I, I think this discussion is really good. <laughs> I, I really honestly do, because I think it, it's starting to highlight um, efforts to, to, to maintain simplicity um, and deliver the information that's meaningful 
So, so, so here's, here, here's my impression of it. So yeah. the ac list of activity metrics is a very, it's very simple. It's just a name and a um, measurable item that you can get related to that name, right? Okay. So I think anytime either work group has something that fits that qualification, we should add it to this list. Should we change description at the top? You know how you said name and then some way to measure it? Is description um, reasonable in that case? Probably not. So yeah, it'd be like ways to measure. Yeah. Okay. Or measurable items, something like that. Okay. Okay. And then Ben, are you suggesting all we have, at least for the time being, is this list? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and if we can get links like we have to some of the markdown pages that have like further details and definitions right. and everything. Yeah. Um, that's amazing. Okay. Should and we go ahead? Go ahead, Gary. What, so one of the um, problems that we identified and Don pointed out is that some of these metrics are worked on and others are not. What about adding a third column? And bear with me, just identifying which work group is currently working on it. I thought about that and then I didn't say it. And I think it's okay, but then we're I, gonna have we're gonna have some that overlap. Do we want to have? Okay. And we have both in that column, but it gives us an overview of which metrics are currently abandoned. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. that idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, okay you love it. Okay, great. Well, then I, I, I should have said it. Shoot. <laughs> you should have. Darn it. <laughs> I get credit for your idea. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is, to me, this is helping. Um, so then Ben, can I ask you one other question? Yeah. On this list right now under name. So again, if I just click on like bus factor has a page below it. Yeah. Do you recommend maintaining that link or should that just go away for the time being? Um, I, I say keep them. And if there's, okay. if we add any and they have a page, a similar page, we should add it just so we can see everything that we have. Right. Okay. So that'll help us identify like what, what, between the three sources we have, what are the things that they each has done to try and describe these metrics in detail, which will make it easier for us to come okay. up with some sort of standardization, right? Okay, that's good. And then I, I do like Daniel's idea too of identifying what those use cases are. To yeah, indeed, indeed, we, indeed we can start, yeah, indeed we can start with the organizational diversity at some point. A mm -hmm. use case. Yep. Um, okay. I think I'm getting my head around this. This is really good. Thank you, everybody. Um, and then there might be a third work group, <laughs> a yet to be determined work group, which is addressing some of the or accommodating some of the metrics that are on that list that currently are not housed in. DNI or growth maturity and decline. Is that correct? I'm not saying that, that has to happen right now, but yeah, or or maybe we'll add a word to one of our work groups or something. <laughs> Diversity and inclusion and organizations. <laughs> <laughs> right, that sounds good. Uh, great. I I think though that uh, yours and Georg's suggestion of attaching the working group labels to each of the. Um, existing metrics will help us understand the magnitude of that problem. Yep, I agree. And I'm not going to take credit yeah. for that. So, yeah. I didn't. So, <laughs> so let's get a complete list, figure out which working group is maintaining it, and that should give us a lot of useful information. Yep. Yeah. And I don't think that's good. That's a mapping that I think is okay to maintain. Mm -hmm. I honestly do. It, it was yeah. so yeah. then actually in this repository, what I would actually get rid of basically the repository. I think everybody is okay with will basically be that activity metrics list markdown page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could so essentially probably turn that into the readme. Correct. I think mm -hmm. so too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and those metrics can link off to whichever repository is currently maintaining them. Yeah, I mean, we could we could do that. Yeah. And that that's helpful then too because then all of the issues in that in the metrics repository stay relevant at this point. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of those issues are like let's add this other metric, you know, just kind of these individual metrics, which are yeah. highly relevant.
relevant issues at that point. Okay, thank you everybody. What, wait, wait, before we end, one quick bit of administ administrative um, yes. bits. Uh, we should send an email to the list talking about mm -hmm. which meetings are canceled over the holidays. Because I'm yeah. guessing we're going to cancel, it's what, Christmas and New Year's that this one falls on? Because DNI was Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. So yeah. I assume those two are canceled, but we should probably just make it explicit. Yeah, fair, fair point. We'll still meet next week, or at least we'll plan on meeting next week. I know DNI is meeting next Monday. Yep. Um, and we'll still have this meeting next Tuesday. But yeah, yeah. you're right. Then the next two weeks are canceled. Yeah, probably. Okay. Um, we could just be explicit about that, I think. Okay. That sounds great. Um, Sean, is Sean still on? No, he's not. I, the only reason I wanted to see if Sean was on was he went to the Open Compliance Summit hmm. in Japan and see if he had any, up, I know he has a lot of updates, and, um, but we can wait till next week. We'll let him start next week. We'll let him start next week, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and then Ben, while I have Ben and Ray on, have you voted on that link that I sent you? Yes. Okay. Uh, what link? I Did you send it today or? No, yesterday. It's for chaos board stuff. Um, I don't see it in my inbox. I'll forward it to you again. It's okay. possible. Oh, I know what it is. I bet I know what it is. Anyway, I, I, bet, you're, I bet you're listed wrong on the members list. I bet it's oh, your okay. email. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just okay. let me know. So. Okay, thanks. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for an excellent discussion. This is really helpful to me yes. so, in many ways. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.